Hi, I'm Stuck, and uh, this is Bound to Thursdays. This episode is sponsored by Pentester Lab. And if you haven't done all the challenges over at Pentest Lab, I think now is a good idea to start. There's a lot of really good training over there, so head over there and check it out. But this episode is also sponsored by the epic people over at patreon.com slash Frederick. And a special shout out and mad love to Goobster for being a true supporter of the good vibes. Thank you. Thank you all for supporting the show. So Hacker Summer Camp is over and we all just, everyone was hopefully glued to the live streams over on DEF CON and Black Hat. And one talk that really stood out for me was short, simple, but to the point was Daniel's talk, Mechanizing the Methodology. It all builds down to the idea about how you create an automation platform for yourself that continuously is monitor the stuff that you want to do so you can do the hacking on the things that you're really interested in. Let the machines do the grunt work, kind of, so to say. He talks about the idea that you're running different kind of um, module-based bash scripts um, that are doing certain things for you. And that reminds me of the talk that um, Mayonnaise did a while back together with Nahamsek over on his Twitch channel. And in short, what it does is that it collects subdomains from a top domain, finds more subdomains, um, gets the IP addresses, get more IP addresses, then scan those IP addresses and gets the output and get, delivers that to you and does some other automation over and over again. And one of the things that Nafi said during his talk together with Nomsik as well on the Recon show was that he is a vivid Nmap user. And anyone that used Nmap knows that it's a super powerful tool, but it takes a lot of time. So if you're sending a lot of IP addresses in there on your box and you want to look at all those, there's a big chance that you're going to end up, one, getting yourself banned or rate limited or just burn that IP address because you're using that over and over all the time, right? Or that it's just going to be, take so long for you for it to finish that, you know, it, it, it just takes forever and map is slow. But if you combine, let's say you're doing a mass scan and get that results and put it into Nmap and then get the output and then feeds it back into some kind of reporting system, that would be really, really interesting. And it, it makes all sense, right? How can we create a system that does this all for us, but does it at scale? Because we want multiple IPs, we want multiple machines, and we want it to be running just a certain amount or a small amount of IPs from one box, one IP, so that doesn't get burned. And that led me down the idea that maybe, maybe we could use Axiom for that. And I put together this super hacky bash script just to do the things for me. But I'm gonna break it down for you and show you step by step how it's possible to do the same thing and scan a wide range of targets at scale using Axiom, Axiom Fleet and Axiom Scan. But first we need to spin up a fleet. In this case, I'm spinning up 15 instances that's gonna be around for about two hours. This is obviously in eight times the speed when we're doing this, so you get an idea at least, that's how it goes. So it takes about 150 seconds for them to spin them all up and initiate them. Then we run Axiom Scan using Uber, uh, a couple of IP addresses that I got, and I'm gonna use Mass Scan on port 80. So what's happening now is that Axiom sends my IP list to all these droplets and starts Mass Scan at each and every one of them. That means we get a distributed load. So in a few seconds, only 17 hosts per server has been scanned and they were collected. This, totally, this took totally about 21 seconds and then it's downloading all the files using SCP. Saving them using my output file, mask and Uber. And since this is a normal kind of mask and output, we need to sort them. And the best thing to do that is using awk, right? We just want the IP addresses. Then we're moving on to doing the Nmap part. This is the cool thing. 
We're using a module here called nmapx because that's gonna give us an output report that we can play around with. So I'm a huge fan of Andreas Honsia's nmap bootstrap XSL. So we're gonna use that one in this case. Same procedure. It's being uploaded to all the boxes, being shared. And then obviously this is more of a super speed because nmap takes a lot of time and we do in the SC and um, getting as much data as possible out. So this took about seven minutes, then it's downloading all the scans again and just parses them together, puts it all together is an XML output and I'm getting this output file, which is the scan report. And inside here is everything that I need to know to just get a quick overview of the target, what kind of service it's using, what kind of product and all that good stuff. Of course, you can just skip this, get in the report, but hey, I'm a report kind of person, so this fits me perfectly. And when you're done, just axiom-rm to delete all the services, and they're all being deleted, and you did all this, you scanned a lot of IP addresses um, for a few cents, and you only paid when you used the box. Okay, there's so many ways to do this, but this is just an uh, inspiration for you how to play around with it. Axiom is currently just in development, so, so you can build your own, you can play around with other stuff, but uh, the next step for this is to incorporate content discovery and running FFUF at scale. And that's where it starts to become really, really interesting. And when we're talking about things at scale, Nahamsek and Static Flow presented a talk called Knock Knock Who's There? Identifying Assets in the Cloud. Did I say Assets? Identifying Assets in the Cloud. So what they did is that they went out and just scanned all the IP addresses on the known cloud spaces. They poked at the IP address and on a specific port and checked if it returned any answer. And if the answer contained a, a, a C name or a, a DNS lookup, they would take that and connect that directly to the IP. And I mean, just the EC2 space or on AWS is supposedly somewhere around 88 million IPs. So there's a lot of data in there. Then they took all those IP addresses and they matched those towards uh, the bounty targets list. So you can get a list of IP addresses that are being checked against the bounty targets. This is a good asset for you. I'm definitely gonna su subscribe to the service and you can check it out now over at, over at recon.dev and try it out. I think it's like seven day free trial or something, but it's early days. It's very, very early days. This is gonna be amazing in time, but for now, you know, bear with me, you know, or bear with them. Th things might just go offline and come back again. Try to support. It's a cool thing. So I hope you got a little bit nice vibe for your automation needs now. Um, this show is not going to be weekly from now on. It's going to be bi-weekly because I really want to deep dive and get back into doing tutorials and doing all that stuff. And an and, uh, easy way for you to make sure that that's going to happen is to head over to my Patreon. That's patreon.com slash Frederick and support. And anything helps to keep this staying free because I want knowledge to be free and I want to come keep on doing this. So if you want to be a supporter, hey, support. Okay, thank you. Uh, that's everything we have for this week. Stay curious.